Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. And as you can tell, I'm in the kitchen again because I'm fixing to make a recipe. Now it's been a while since I've done a cooking video, so I thought that it was about time I get that done. Now this particular recipe is a dessert and I've made it many, many times so I know that it will turn out right. And it's called, I call it a cheesecake cake. So let me get started and show you how to put the cheesecake cake together. Okay, the first thing that I need to do is tell you the ingredients that you need to make the cheesecake cake. Let me roll my paper towel up a little bit. The first thing you're going to need is two cans of eight count crescent rolls. And I got the great value brand like they sell at Walmart because it works just as good. Then you're going to need two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. So you're going to need 16 ounces altogether. And I've got that in here and I've already taken it out and kind of blended it up a little bit. One cup of sugar, plain granulated white sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let me see if I can find that. I think that's this one here. Yes, this is it. This is the teaspoon of vanilla extract. I've got two of them here, that's why I was looking. One of them's for the glaze. Then you're going to need one whole egg. And I've got that in here. Then you're going to need the whites from one egg. And I've got the whites in here. And then for the glaze, you're going to need a half a cup of powdered sugar, confectioner's sugar, And two tablespoons of milk, which I have in here. And a half a teaspoon of vanilla. And that's the other part of the vanilla. And then you're going to need a 9 by 13 pan. And that's what I've got right here to cook it in. So the first thing, you preheat your oven to 350 and then you grease your pan. And I've already done that. Then you open one package of crescents and lay it in the bottom of the pan. So let me open that up and get that started. Now you're going to take the crescents, find the end, and you're going to lay it out in the pan. Then you need to press all the seams together and kind of press the dough out so that it fills the whole pan. So let me do that. Okay, now when you get through, it should look like this. You press all the seams together and you press the dough out until it completely fills the pan. And now we're going to make together the mixture that goes in on top of this. Now after you get that done, it says to be together the cream cheese sugar, vanilla, and the whole egg. So we're going to do the cream cheese, the granulated sugar, the vanilla, and the one whole egg. And we're going to beat that all together. Everything in one bowl and we're going to beat it all together. what it looks like after it's beat all together. Now it would work better if you did this with a hand mixer because I do have some little lumps in there as you can see but I don't know what happened to my hand mixer. Last time I used it the gears got stripped and it won't hold the beaters. They fall out so I don't have a electric mixer anymore. I have to do it with this. Okay, here it is all put together. Then after you beat that all together, you're going to spread it evenly over the layer of crescents in the bottom of the pan. 
So we're going to take this and we're going to spread this filling over it. We'll start in the middle because you don't really want it to go all the way out to the edges. Okay, here's what it looks like with the filling and you want to spread it out as much as you can but don't get don't go all the way to the edges see right there why I didn't go all the way you want to leave a little bit of the crust but you want to spread it as close to the edge as you can without actually going all the way out the second pack of crescent rolls and we need to kind of press it out because we're going to lay it on top and we won't be able to lay it on top of it and press it with the mixture in the bottom of the pan. So I do it ahead of time and then I lay it on the thing. And I'm just putting a little bit of powdered sugar on here to kind of make a little surface for me to put it on and not stick so much. Kind of dry it off a little bit. All laying out here should look to be pretty much the same size as what you already have in the pan. Then you're going to pick it up and very carefully lay it on top of the cream cheese mixture. Let me bring this back over here. look like when you get the top layer on. It should be almost the same size once you stretch it out as the bottom was. And now we're going to mix up the glaze that goes on it. Now the first thing you need to do after you get that in there, lay the second pack of crescent rolls over the cream cheese filling and brush the top with the egg whites. So we're going to use our little pastry brush we're going to stir these egg whites up just a little bit. And then we're going to brush on top of there. there's that. Now if you get that done, brush the egg whites on there, you're going to bake it for 35 to 40 minutes until golden brown. So I will come back and get you after I get through baking it. Okay, I'm back and the cake is out of the oven now. It's done. And we're going to let it cool. And while we're letting it cool, we're going to go ahead and mix up the glaze that goes on it. So we have the milk. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And then the vanilla flavoring, vanilla extract. And you just whisk this together, and this goes across the top. You just drizzle this across the top. And you can wait till it cools to do it, or you can do it while it's still hot. And what I do, I found, my pantry, I found a can of cherry pie filling. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put it all on the top of it. 
But if I slice up each slice individually, I'm going to put this in a container with a lid on it. And when I slice out a piece, I'm going to put like a spoonful of this on top of it, along with a spoonful of Cool Whip. And that'll make a good dessert. So here's what the glaze looks like. I feel like this needs more powdered sugar, but I'm going to go by what the recipe said. Here's what the glaze looks like. And then you just drizzle this all across the top of it. Now, it did get a little bit brown. I may have left it in the oven a little bit longer than necessary. And that's my timer going off saying that I should have still left it in even that much longer. But I, I looked at it and, and I could tell it was starting to get dark enough to burn. So I went ahead and took it out. And then you just drizzle this, this frosting all across the top. And the frosting was a half a cup of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of milk. That's all that was in the frosting. So that's it. Now, I'm not going to eat any of it right now, so I won't be doing a taste test for you. I'm going to let it cool down completely. Then I will cut it. And, and if I think about it, I'll come back and turn my camera on and record me taking a little sample after it cools down. But for now, I just want to say thank you so very much to everyone for coming to the channel and visiting with us. Uh, I would like to welcome all the new people that have joined my channel. I've got a few new subscribers. And I want to say thank you to all my regular old timers who have come back. And y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.